Welcome back to Brutal City Tech. I am Hank and I'm out here in the camper installing a TV in the bedroom. So we wanted to install a TV in the bedroom because we have our son sleeping out here in the dining room in his pack and play. And sometimes if there's bad weather or if we're just tired and want to go in the bedroom and lay down, you know, there's not a whole lot to do when you're out camping sometimes, especially if you're stuck in there for bad weather. You just want to watch some TV or something and we can't since he's in here. So my plan is to install a TV in our bedroom right here. And of course, Rec Pro, who is a sponsor here, were kind enough to send me out what we'll unbox here in a minute, the 19 inch Jensen 12 volt television. And then I, they did send me a mount for the television, but it's not gonna work in this scenario. So we're gonna have to use that in a different camper or a different uh, build or something. So I went out and bought this smaller little foldable impact mount TV ceiling mount for LCD LED TVs. And we're gonna just throw this up there and see how it fits. So anyways, we are going to attack that. Um, just looking here, I see these are some mounting screws for the, the TV. Those look really long. And I have some shorter lag screws that I'm gonna use to go into the camper so that I don't I don't know. It looks like it's going to go too far. So anyways, let's get started. So first off, you'll see here, this little sticker here says TV backer. So if I push up right here, I can feel that there's some wood there. And uh, so we just need to get our mount pushed up there, mark our holes, drill them, and uh, we'll just see how this works. It's kind of scary drilling into your camper like this, especially into the roof. But, you know, we gotta do it if we want to have the cool conveniences of your home. We're just going to set this up here. I mean, that's where our backer is. And I'm just going to mark where I want the TV. And I know this is about the center. You could get perfect. But my doors are even on both sides, so I'm just gonna use the center line here as kind of my guide. And then get my little marker. So I'm just gonna pre-drill first. Now, I'm going to make a little bit bigger hole for my lag screws that I'm going to be using. You don't want to go bigger than what your screw is, so just kind of hold it up next to it and see how big they are, but that'll just ensure that you don't break the wood that you're going into.
pretty simple. Worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Nice and stout. In our backer, everything's good to go. Alright, so let's unbox the TV here. Pull it out. See what Rep Pro sent us. They've been really good to the channel, and uh, yeah, we couldn't be doing any of this without them, really. So we've got looks like a remote, some wiring. We're gonna have to uh, dive into how to get that wired up soon. But let's get this TV out. This 19 inch is gonna be perfect, I think, for the bedroom. You don't want something so big that it's hard to look at when you're laying in bed since you don't have a whole lot of room. So we have a little 19 inch Jensen, sweet looking little TV. So we've got these four screws here that we just need to take out and we're gonna mount the other side of our mount here. So that goes up, so it just goes like that. So, in fact, let's go ahead and just do that real quick. Should be simple enough. All right, so here we go. We're gonna just take these four screws out. So you can see here, it's got this arrow on the mount right here in the middle. Make sure that's pointing up. Now we should be able to just go hang this into the mount in there and then use Allen wrench and these two little bolts they sent to go through the side here and it will be fully installed and then we just need to run our wires. All right, so like I said, we just need to, this has hooks right here that are pointing up and they just need a hook into the back of that mount that we just did. So we are just gonna hook it in just like so. And then we take these Allen bolts that came with it and we just tighten it down. Also, I want to point out that it does say in here, you can pop, yep, you can pop those out and it comes with another Allen wrench. Where you can tighten the tension in this arm so that obviously right now it's just kind of wanting to swing. Now these are designed so that you can fold it up against the roof but obviously we don't have enough room to do that but what I would like to do is get it angled just right before it hits the door and then we can just tighten up this arm so as you can see I'm just laying down in bed and then there we go there is our television mounted and the arm is tight pretty sweet now all we have to do is the wiring and the cool thing about these campers is you can see right there is a hole and then off on the other side we've got a hole right there so we can come through the wall and we can plug in now this tv is a 12 volt which i think what i can do is tap into my 12 volt power in here and it'll be ready to rock and roll and I won't have to actually plug it in. The cool thing about this TV also is that it will work without the inverter. Now, I do want to point out that I reached out to Rec Pro because our 1000 watt inverter just wasn't cutting it. It wasn't allowing us to use our microwave and I really wanted to have that capability and it kept dying on us. So I just reached out and said, hey, could we uh, 
get a 2000 watt because when they first sent me that 1000 it wasn't available and they did they sent me out 2000 watt inverter and I did install that in the camper there is our 2000 watt inverter it was a little bit tough getting it put in there because it's a little bit bigger but I did so I'm excited to try that out so let me get this wiring figured out and I'll let y'all know what I did all right so I am gonna say that this is not a tutorial on how to do this if it were just going to be a normal TV, I was just going to simply plug it in or put a little power strip back behind here. Plug it in, but since it is 12 volt, what I'm going to do is I took off my, this is my little antenna for the television. And you look back here, and I looked back here on this circuit board, Now I've got my power all off. So this one here is my power, and this one here is my ground. Here's these two wires. This plain white one is ground, and this purple and white is my power so my plan is I'm just gonna tap into those I can just take these off and I can splice in my power and my ground and just use these same ones that way they've got that 12 volt power whenever I turn them on so that is my plan I'm gonna have to go find some connections that I can use to do this but that's what we're gonna do Okay, and I think my best course of action is to use my little WAGO connectors, and I can just simply cut it. Yeah, Holden's crying on the monitor, but he'll go back to sleep probably. Like I said, battery's disconnected. We're all good there. I just need to cut my power and cut my ground and put in a couple of these WAGO connectors. So here we go. So let's just do this one first. The other thing I do need to do is drill a little hole so that I can put these through here first. Let's do that real quick. We'll just take our little Wagyu connectors. Okay, so now we've got power to all of them there. And we'll just need to do the same thing to the ground. Power. So I'm going to put all of this away and we are going to test it. Give you a little close up. There it is going in there. We come around here. You can see there's our power going through. There's a little fuse already in it. And uh, we can tidy this all up. Put some tie straps up here. I mean, you just hang it there. I mean, that's, that's not bad. So let's go put the um, power back on and we'll give it a shot. What I'm gonna do is just put the battery on and then see if the TV works. All right, so I got my battery back connected. I think I can already see a little blue dot there in the corner. So let's just turn it on and see. Now obviously I don't have anything hooked up. My goal here is just to put our Roku in here and then we can hotspot from the phone and watch Roku. Uh, we have one of those ones that you can just plug in your headphones to the remote and then you don't have to worry about waking up anybody that's in the camper so that's pretty cool 
So that's it. That is the installation. And it is nice and secure. This television is light enough that it's no big deal to have up there. I wouldn't want to go much bigger than this, but anyways. Alrighty, well that's it. That is my install of our Jensen 19 inch television from RecPro. I can't recommend them enough. And the link down below in the description will be the link to their website. And you can get, uh, I believe it is 5% off with our code, Roto City Tech. And I will put that all down below. So please go show them love. They continue to support the channel and we just love them there. And you can get all kinds of stuff for your camper. In fact, we have a video coming up because we are installing a new awning on my brother's used camper that I posted about. And the awning assembly is from them. So stay tuned for that. And we are going to love having this thing when we go camping. So, all right, everybody, take it easy and we'll see y'all next time.